Often our whites look white on screen but are actually closer to gray or yellow. It isn't until we see the image in print that we realize how dingy our whites really are. And if you aren't sure whether your whites are dingy, the easiest way to find out is to compare something that is true white to the white areas in your image. If your whites are not a match, your image probably needs to have its white point set. To correct dingy white tones in our image, we will be using Photoshop to set the white points in the level menu. With your image open in Photoshop, go to Levels. From here, you will set the white point by first selecting the white sampler. Then, locate the brightest or lightest point that should be white or very close to white and sample it. You will notice the white balance in your image change instantly, but keep in mind that this may also brighten your image a bit more than intended. If so, simply adjust where necessary. Your print results will improve dramatically. They will appear to have better contrast, balance, and an overall pop. When comparing the before and after prints, it's clear that setting the white point on an image can make a drastic difference. 